iOS 7 is finally here, but it isn't just a fresh lick of paint. It also has a few new tricks up its sleeve too. You should still be able to navigate about the interface without too much trouble, despite the new look. You can slide to unlock, scroll home screens, and arrange an almost unlimited number of apps into folders. Swiping down reveals the new notification center, which offers a more detailed breakdown of notifications that have hit your phone in the last 24 hours. While swiping up now reveals control center, a new feature which lets you toggle elements like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on or off, control brightness, volume, and even have quick access to tools like a flashlight and calculator. Double tapping the home button shows you all the apps currently running on your iPhone in the new multitasking view. Swipe left and right to jump into a different app or simply swipe up an item to close it all together. Siri looks better too. As well as keeping in style with the rest of iOS 7, you can now expect results to draw on new sources like Twitter and Wikipedia, and you'll hear responses spoken to you in Siri's new, more natural sounding voice. The new iPhone camera interface lets you swipe between shooting modes like video, square, and panorama, and you can even overlay a range of new filters in real time to add an RT look to your shots, which are then grouped by moments, collections, and years in the Photos app using location, date, and time information. One not so handy feature is that the move to iOS 7 may have removed your APN settings, something you'll have noticed if you can't browse the web on our network when you're out and about. Thankfully, there's a simple fix to get you back online in no time. Firstly, check whether you have any old profiles installed. Head to Settings, General, and then look for an option called Profile. Delete any existing profiles you might have, but if you can't see the profile option, then you move straight on. Next, once again go into General in the Settings menu and look for an option called Reset. Tap on Reset, press Reset Network Settings and confirm your choice. Bear in mind this process also wipes any Wi-Fi passwords you have stored on your iPhone too, so you'll have to re-enter them when you're finished. Your iPhone should restart itself. Once your iPhone's up and running again, head back into Settings and open the Cellular menu and tap on Cellular Data Network. All that's left to do is to enter gifgaf.com in the APN field of the Cellular Data section. Ensure your username is set to Vertigo and that the password is Password. Exit the menu, restart your iPhone once more and try getting online. You should now be back up and able to get online whilst you're out and about. Nice one.